historically, the Nicolaitans were the ones that believed that the clergy were elevated and had power, and the laity, the people, had no power, which is the background for what we call Roman Catholicism. Now, I'm going to talk about Roman Catholicism a little bit here because this church is the beginning of where evil was becoming part of the church. And the history of Roman Catholicism is that after Diocletian, Constantine came, an emperor of Rome, and Constantine was facing a battle at the Milvian Bridge over the Tiber River, and he had his legions, and there was uh, another emperor with his legions, and they were both generals. And Constantine was afraid of going to battle, and so he had a dream, and in his dream, this is all written down in history, he saw a, a cross with flames, and he heard the words, in hoc signe vince, he heard him in Latin, that's Latin, in hoc, in this, signe, this sign, vince, you'll win. So the cross he, he took as kind of like a picture of victory, and he had crosses painted on all of his legionnaires' shields. So they went into battle as Roman legionnaires with crosses on their shields, and he won. He won the battle. And so what he did is he legalized Christianity. And, and what he said is, we're not going to kill him anymore like Diocletian was. I'm going to make it legal, but this is what I'm going to do. I have all the gods of Rome and the Pantheon and all the gods of the Assyrians and the Babylonians and Ashtoreth and everybody else, and they're going to stay gods. I'm just going to add Christianity to it. Have you ever wondered where beads in Roman Catholicism comes from? There are no beads in the New Testament. There are no burning candles. There are no idols to saints that you put in your car to keep you safe when you're driving. There are no, where did Lent come from? You ever heard of Lent? The 40 days of Lent? Ash Wednesday, you know, Mardi Gras, Fat Thursday, and, and the whole thing of Lent. Where did all that come from? All of that is Roman paganism that was already in Roman religion. And Constantine merged the paganism of Rome with the church of Jesus Christ, and he just said, all of you are legal now. And so basically, all the priests of paganism and all the pastors of the churches that were left and survived were all legal, and they all set up shop, and basically, those that had the Balaam error and those that had the Nicolaitan error just merged right in with the church. And what I tell people, when I, when uh, People say, what do you do? I say, oh, I teach the Bible. And they go, um, well, I'm Catholic. A lot of them, no, a lot of them will say, I'm Roman Catholic. Because, you know, they don't want me to, to talk to them. They're trying to defend themselves. They go, oh, I'm Catholic. I'm just not Roman Catholic. And they look at me and they go, what's the difference between Catholic and Roman Catholic? And I tell them that the church Jesus Christ started that's in the New Testament was merged with Romanism. Catholic means the universal, the holy universal church Jesus started. Roman Catholic is that merging in of all the beads and the candles and the orders of priests and the headdresses they wear and Lent and the whole sacramental system. All of that merged in. 